Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Shobhit Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager here at VMware, responsible for vSphere, AIML, and DPUs. In this series, we bring VMware and partner experts to discuss VMware's vSphere and cloud products. These fabulous experts also share their backgrounds, industry trends, and general tips for IT technical experts and our customers. Uh, today, is a, I'm extremely excited. <clears throat> it's a person I've been following actually for a long time on LinkedIn. Um, Amanda Saunders, she's the senior manager of uh, Enterprise AI. Uh, Amanda works on generative AI, focusing on large language models in NVIDIA. Uh, welcome, Amanda. Thanks so much for having me, Shobit. Fantastic. Uh, and as the job title of Amanda probably is pretty clear, we're going to discuss launch of the generative AI in partnership with NVIDIA today. Uh, so really, really excited that we are doing this. So let's jump in. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, Amanda, really excited to have you. Like I kind of was mentioning to the audience, I've been following you for a while on LinkedIn, reading all your posts about um, you know, generative AI, LLMs, et cetera. Uh, do you mind just kind of walking the audience through your background, what you do for NVIDIA? Uh, NVIDIA? Most importantly, what's your favorite beverage? Well, you know, I've been at NVIDIA for a long time, um, almost eight years now, and it's um, covering everything from graphics now to AI. Um, so actually what's fun is one of my, my first uh, uh, jobs at NVIDIA was actually launching our vGPU solution with VMware. So it's amazing to see how this partnership has evolved throughout that. Um, as you mentioned in my job title, um, I now get to focus on generative AI, which is of course such a hot topic and such a fun area to, to work in um, because it's amazing to see not only the research that's going on, but also how that's being transformed into the businesses. So, you know, really exciting area. We've got products in this area. We're bringing partnerships with folks like VMware uh, to market. And I think it's it's just, it's only gonna get better. Um, so today, um, as it may be evidenced by, <laughs> by my, my speaking, is um, I've got my favorite cup of coffee. Um, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to talk about the announcements and uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. And as my background probably shows, it's coffee for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, uh, I'm really, really excited today. I've been working for almost like two years or so plus now with NVIDIA on the enterprise platforms. So it's really cool now uh, for me to be able to announce to the audience that we're launching uh, a generative AI solution with NVIDIA. Um, you know, this partnership's been for, you know, beyond my time, actually, I joined VMware roughly about two years back, NVIDIA and VMware have been together, like, at least three to four years, to my knowledge, on this journey, uh, <clears throat> launching, basically, the VMware plus NVIDIA enterprise um, solution. This enables IT admins to deliver an AI-ready infrastructure, right, and for data scientists to scale AI animal projects. Um, so, but today it's pretty cool to talk about this generative AI launch. So, uh, Mana, do you mind kind of uh, showing a little, talking a little bit, a little bit about this new uh, launch? And I'm gonna put on the background the product, the specific product that's launching next week. Absolutely, yeah, it's it's really exciting. As we said, generative AI is what's hot right now, and so looking at how we can bring this to the enterprise as part of our solution. Um, I think is really important. Um, so what's really unique about this is within NVIDIA AI Enterprise, what we're doing is we're bringing our Nemo platform. This is a end-to-end -end platform that allows uh, folks to build, customize, and then run inference at scale their generative AI solutions within a production-ready AI platform, which is, of course, NVIDIA AI uh, Enterprise. So by bringing this um, you know, into the, our partnership with VMware, we're allowing, you know, IT admins to expand their environments and what they're used to running um, in their data center with these new generative AI capabilities, allowing their uh, businesses to be able to um, bring customization techniques of these large language models that they're out there in the market today into this environment. So one of the key features as part of Nemo is that we allow you to customize pre-trained models. Um, so there are many out there today. Llama 2, I think, is one of the most popular that we hear about today. You can take that model, which is state-of-the-art, um, you know, highly tuned based on data, 
bring that into Nemo, customize it with your own enterprise data, and then be able to run it in production and at scale across your VMware environment. So now customers can use um, LLMs based on their own data built by NVIDIA and VMware um, and, and run them anywhere. Fantastic. And then I want to just kind of give the audience a quick overview of what uh, this entire architecture is all about. Uh, next week, basically, this is going to be a, this is a architecture. Actually, we shouldn't say next week. This is going to launch actually on the day of launch. So basically, uh, starting today, when this audience is first going to see this episode, we're going to have this uh, reference architecture available, validated by OEMs, right? All the servo manufacturers uh, on NVIDIA's hardware, as well as NVIDIA software combined uh, on this, what we're calling the VMware Private AI Foundation, which is basically our VCF layer and combined with all the fantastic tools that NVIDIA's AI Enterprise has combined with the NEMO frameworks. And so virtual machines, containers, both are enabled for the solution. Um, so Private AI Foundation is a concept that we're introducing uh, starting uh, starting uh, today because private VMware Private AI Foundation uh, basically work helps customers uh, keep their LLMs private right, in partnership with NVIDIA, right? So security, privacy, control, that's the big things we want customers to remember about VMware Private AI Foundation. Um, and as part of this, you know, VCF, the VCF layer provides that multi-cloud turnkey experience for enterprises uh, on which generative AI models can be easily deployed. So with that, I'm gonna stop sharing here for a second, because uh, I think the customers, you know, the audience probably has scanned enough of this. Now with that, Ben, do you mind kind of talking about, you know, some of the key use cases that are enabled with the solution? Yeah, of course. So I think what's great about bringing those LLMs into your own environment and being able to customize them with your own data is it really opens up a huge variety um, of use cases. You know, some of the most popular that we're seeing are, are code generation, for example. Um, you know, this is going to accelerate uh, the ability for developers to make applications to design applications using um, LLMs and AI as sort of that co-pilot. And of course, when you're when you're training these models, you want to make sure that you know all of your private data, the code that your company creates, your private IP, all of that is of the utmost concern. So we want to make sure that that remains in the data center, which again, this solution um, being that private AI foundation is going to allow um, customers to do. You know, I think another one that we hear a lot about are, you know, our contact centers and call centers. Um, you can imagine there's a lot of um, customized data that call center reps either need to know or learn as they're getting up to speed. But with AI as a co-pilot for this use case, imagine a call center on uh, rep on day one could ask questions based on what they're talking to uh, somebody about. They could get, you know, uh, examples of what kind of information to give back. Um, and it's just going to get them up to speed just like that. So I think, again, another powerful use case where combining LLMs with that custom data is just, it's going to be amazing. And I, and I was smiling while you were talking because in one of my previous lives, prior to marketing, I was actually a tech support manager, right? And so I had a team of, I don't can't remember the number now, 20 plus people. And the number one thing that we used to establish for everyone was this gigantic database, right? And it was shared between, you know, multiple managers and, you know, an entire organization. And the, you, always there was a challenge of keeping that database updated, right? Of technical knowledge, basically. Hey, if, we're, if you have a Dell storage, for example, what's the technical skill sets? If you're seeing this issue, how do you go solve that, right? So now if you kind of step back, right? How much more easy it becomes for those contact center employees right, to be able to go in, quickly type the issue, get an answer, right, versus going through all of this exploration that they've done. So uh, I could go on about this for actually five <laughs> minutes because I lived this life for about a couple of years as a tech support manager. Now, the couple of things that I want to bring up is IT operations automation. That's where VMware Private AI uh, combined with NVIDIA can significantly reduce the IT operations agent times as well for doing operational automation, like incident management, reporting, tech, ticketing, monitoring. Our admins on the infrastructure side particularly have this big issue where they spend a ton of their time 
uh, you know, just doing a whole bunch of reporting that to, to, to a lot of time should be fairly automated, right? It's, and if you had intelligent tools built on top of these LLMs, they could do a lot of this monitoring and on the spot send an hourly report or a four hourly report saying, hey, there's issues I've done. All of this work is quite manual today, right? Because uh, <clears throat> this work is usually given to IT who has bandwidth issues. They'll create some custom templates and anything beyond that is very, very hard to implement. So there's a ton of opportunities that we feel uh, we can, you know, for IT operations and admins, this is a great opportunity. Now, the biggest one, like it goes back to our contact center example we were just talking about, advanced automation, information retrieval. I mean, even we as employees, right? A lot of times are searching on our inter internet sometimes, trying to find uh, documentation, policies, procedures, things like that that we, we need to know as employees. Similarly, when you take it, take it to enterprises, there's a ton of opportunities across enterprise and their employees to do this kind of very complex searches, which today's regular search engines may or may not serve the best purpose. So we should see a ton of opportunities. So, yeah, and let me just, yes. just add on that. Yeah. yeah, I think the most powerful thing about generative AI in general is what is that most important? What is that most unique data that a business has that of course they want to keep maintained and secure. So they're going to right. keep it in house. Um, but point. connecting an AI to that, the options are really limited. So we've given a couple of examples, but there's so much that can happen with this technology. And I think building this on on you know on a VMware stack is is going to only help with that. Fantastic. Now, uh, last question. Uh, always, always, always save the best for the last. Right. Uh, we're also very very excited today to announce Project Pescadero, um, and. This one's a big, very exciting thing for VMware and, and NVIDIA. I want to I want to give an opportunity here for Amanda. Do you mind kind of sharing what Project Pescadero is? I'm going to shift over to a different slide and flash that for a second. Uh, yeah, this is exciting. And we're really excited to announce this today with VMware. So uh, in this NVIDIA and VMware, we're, we're collaborating on developing a fully integrated solution that's going to enable enterprises to build and run these custom LLM generative AI models in their VMware data center. So we're going to put the power of generative AI in the reach of the hundreds of thousands of VMware customers who are already uh, using VMware today and, and now get to add this amazing capability. So they're going to be able to build these intelligent generative AI applications, whether that's chatbots or assistants or all those things that we just talked about. Um, and it's going to be sold by VMware in this easy to use, easy to buy solution um, that, that's just going to make this uh, this reach of generative AI um, anywhere. It basically, in my opinion, Project Pescadero removes friction in the sales process big time, right? Like customers and enterprise will have a SKU or a set of SKUs. We'll see how that goes, right? And so VMware sellers will be able to take that SKU, bring it to customers, show them the options of what Project Pescadero, the different SKU set is, Easy to buy, easy to set, easy to deploy. Like, so the easy button is really what we're enabling big time with Project Pescadero. Yep, easy and then secure. And yep. I think that's what Absolutely. that's what our, our joint customers are looking for. Uh, easy, secure, and all the innovative technology you're going to get through Gen AI. Fantastic. And with that, I think we're coming to a close on our, um, uh, on our webinar today, on our uh, break room chat today. So... First of all, I really, really want to thank you, Amanda. I've been following you a lot on LinkedIn, so really excited about doing this webinar with you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for having me today and having a, a cup of coffee with me. Fantastic. All right. So I uh, really enjoyed this conversation as well. And with that, we're coming to a close to this episode. Thank you very much to all of the audience who are attending. Goodbye, good morning, good, e good afternoon, good evening, good night. Have a wonderful weekend. Until the next episode, this is your host, Shobit Bhutani, signing off.